Hi guys, how's it going? Dave Osman here from the UK with video three of a list of four videos on what is laser targeted marketing. In the third video, we're going to look at how to optimize your sites and pages for the search engines. And there they are there. Google, Yahoo, Ask, MSM, Bing, about loads of them. In this video, we're going to talk about how to optimize a website or blog. The easiest and most popular way is by building your site on WordPress. I love WordPress, it's brilliant. If you haven't heard of WordPress, it's been around for years and millions and millions of websites are made using it. It's probably the number one site building product out there and it's easy to navigate even for the relative newcomer. Plugins to WordPress are easy uploaded and there are a ton of SEO plugins that you can upload that help you get your content optimized for the search engines. Make sure once you go into settings on your WordPress dashboard, then onto the search engine visibility and make sure it's unchecked. It should be unchecked by default, but it's always worth checking. Just make sure and go, go in there and check it. Let's go into settings again once more and click on the permalinks option, then select post name option. This will optimize your site, site posts URLs with keywords in your content to help increase rankings on the search engine results. Always make, to, always make sure you click on save. When you're doing this, you can always refer back to these notes on this video. Perfect. Installing a search engine optimization plugin is very easy, simple. Having an SEO uh, plugin will help you hugely in your journey to get your content ranking on Google. One of the best SEO plugins out there is called Yoast SEO. To install the plugin, click on the plugin option on the WordPress dashboard. Then click on the add new option, then type Yoast SEO in the keyword box, which will be on the right hand side of the page. Once you have clicked on it, Yoast SEO will appear. You then need to click on install now. After the installation is complete, then click on the activate button. Once Yoast SEO is activated, you begin to, you can begin to use it with the full knowledge that your content is optimized correctly. Next, you will want your page to load fast and not lag. Crucial, you want to get this right. If when people click on your site that the page loads slowly, people will not wait and they will click away from your site. You will need your site to load up quickly and thankfully there is a plugin called WP Super Cache. Once again, go to the plugin option on your dashboard and do exactly what you did when loading the Yoast SEO plugin. Remember, you can just go refer back to this video, stop it, pause it, and then go through it again. And that will enable you to, to understand how to install any plugin. Once you have the WP Super Cache installed and activated, then go to the settings option on your WordPress dashboard and click on the WP Super Cache button and select the caching on option and be sure to click on the update button. Crucial, you must keep updating whatever you're doing, either update button or the save button or the publish button. Now we are ready to add a meta description for search results. Meta, meta descriptions can be added to all pages and should be added to all pages on your site to help search users to better identify the content on your blog or website. The Yoast SEO plugin will help you fill in the meta description. Find the Yoast SEO plugin tab and click on the search appearance option. And on the following page, click on the taxonomy tax, taxonomies tab and find the meta description field to enable you to write your meta description. Make sure to include your main keyword that you are ranking for in your meta description and add a call to action phrase. Also make sure that your description is no, no longer than 155 characters, not words, characters. Otherwise it would look incomplete on the search engine page results. Once done, once again make sure to click on save changes button. Next, we're going to look at how to optimize your site structure. This is very easy and you can do it through the customize option. On your dashboard, go to appearance, then click on the custom customize option, then click on site identity tab from the left side menu, then click on select logo and upload a, upload a logo, logo to your site. You can either make your own logo at somewhere like canva.com as seen on the logo on the right, or go back to fiverr.com, which we spoke about earlier, and get somebody to make one for you. Once you have your own logo, you can click on the Upload Files button and cl click on Select. Then enter the name of your site in the Site Title field, then enter your tags in the tagline box below. Make sure your keywords in the tagline are separated by a comma and check the Display Site Title and Tagline box. Then click below and select image, which will add an icon to your site. And finally, don't forget to click the publish button at the top of the page. It's normally on the top right hand 
um, side of the page it's blue normally the website icon should be a smaller version of your logo now your site should be fully optimized in the final video we will talk about how to write SEO optimized posts to engage our targeted traffic and that's what it's going to be the last and final video in this course is going to be all about how to write SEO optimized content to engage targeted traffic thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one